Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Here I am just south of Hilo, Hawaii on the big island here. And let's dive into today's upcoming forecast and for this week as well. You can see the storm off the coastline. You're going to see the Hawaiian Islands to the bottom left there. I can kind of move my mouse around on this screen fairly nicely, but you can see the storm here and the state of California is back over here. We've got a storm system coming in Wednesday and Thursday coming up. And then we've got another storm system coming up towards the weekend here. And we're going to dive into those details here as we go through the video this morning. But we've got some big wave action as well. And the National Weather Service is taking notice check it out this is down for los angeles national weather service and it's going to be up and down the entire coastline here and when it correlates with some of these high tides there could be some enhanced beach erosion possible as you notice in some of the impacts there also and you can see this is for northern california eureka national weather service 30 foot breakers possible coastal flooding stay off the jetties never turn your back on the ocean here is storm number one rain forecast this is going to be mainly central coastal areas you can see merced does get some out of this but better amounts generally north of the bay area but check it out half an inch to one inch for san francisco itself and you can see some bigger amounts along the coastal areas in the higher terrain as well look at the snow levels a little bit lower here and uh, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at the snow maps here in a moment as well and we're trying to wring some snowfall out of this system or these two systems coming up here but we'll see what that's going to be trending and uh, taking a look here you've got the high surf warning along the coastline you got some coastal flood advisories you got a winter weather advisory even out there we got a wind advisory for the next system rolling in as well so we do have some active weather incoming here and this is looking at the actual wave forecast here so we've got significant wave height direction and swell and you can see as we go on in through the day wednesday and on through thursday look at that wave action it's really going to be increasing up and down the california coastline there and then we're going to get another shot here as we start to roll in towards friday night and through the weekend as well so we'll be hearing more about that over the next few days as we do these briefings making sure to see if those wave heights trend upwards or downwards but you can see the national weather service as i mentioned in their graphics they're definitely taking notice of this increased wave activity with some of the storms rolling in and this is that storm out over the pacific ocean here and you can see it out there there's the hawaiian islands and of course here's the state of california so let's put that into motion and when does this precip start well it looks like about wednesday morning there for the northern portion of the california it starts to swing down towards the bay area late morning and starts to make its way down towards the central coast we go through the nighttime hours there and you notice that doesn't bring much of any precipitation for southern california there but the next storm system shown there as you can see across the pacific ocean there and there, again california if I put that into motion, you can see that approaching the coastline there as we go through Friday afternoon, Friday night, and then eventually moving down towards Southern California as we go through the day on Saturday morning and late morning, about right there. And then we will worry about what's going to come up that after lower confidence, as always, when you look out far out into the forecast. Now, taking a look at lightning flash density potential here. So we're looking at the state of California, and you can see as we go through the day Wednesday, there is going to be some thunderstorm threat with this as well. You can see the Bay Area kind of targeted there also, maybe towards Sacramento. And you can't roll out a lightning strike or two elsewhere. And you can see some of that trying to move down towards Point Conception, but it doesn't really make it too far there. And then we bring that next storm system in here, and you can see some lightning strikes offshore. But it does show, again, maybe a lightning strike or two. And this time it includes even some Southern California as we go through the morning hour on saturday then it swings up across some of the valley areas saturday afternoon so we'll watch that over the next few days as well but there will be somewhat of a thunderstorm threat now taking a look at 10,000 feet again the hawaiian islands the bottom left there's the state of california you can see the storm system out here that cold air aloft i always like to give the visual representation of what's going on in the atmosphere aloft and you can see that approaching the coastline here as we go on in through the day wednesday so that's storm number one then you can see storm number two with the better colder air dropping a bit further south and that should be impacting some portions of California. And this is as far as last night's European run goes out, 90 hours. But you can clearly see not much has changed from yesterday afternoon run and bringing that storm system down across the region. Now, this is looking at total snow ratio on the GFS. This is hot off the presses as of this morning. Again, the state of California is there. We'll just scroll through here, and you'll see that first system rolling in here. Not a huge snowmaker, a little bit better for Northern California there, but you can see kind of pathetic showing there for some of the Sierra Nevada. The secondary storm system swinging in here should be a bit better, as you see. Not showing much across Southern California. 
But, you know, we're, we're going to start having to play catch up here across some of the Sierra Nevada. We are behind the normal for this time of year so far. So I know it is feast or famine usually here for uh, much of California when the snow does fall. But, you know, we're going to have to start playing catch up here sooner rather than later. And this is the European last night's run, the control run. This one goes at 144 hours. There goes storm system one. And you can see where it impacts mainly north of Point Conception there. And then the secondary system, better chances for precip all the way down towards Boston. Baja, California there potentially and you need some big amounts starting to show up across the Bay Area and up towards Northern California for these uh, one two punch of storms coming in here across the area. Now taking a look at the six to 10 day, I'll scroll up on that and you can see Southern California is targeted there. But the GFS is kind of at odds with that. And I'll show you that next year in a moment. But it is still showing up here in the Climate Prediction Center. You can see below average across the Pacific Northwest. And then we go 8 to 14 day. And again, still a nice signal here for a lot of the state of California. But we'll watch that and break it down day by day here as we go. And here is that GFS. I'm just going to scroll all the way out here. There's Storm System 1. Here's Storm System 2. Tries to get down towards Southern California. Not as wet as the European, but still some big amounts across some Central and Northern California. And we scroll out to the future here, and it's not showing a great signal there for Southern California. But we won't get too hung up in that just yet. We'll continue to wait and see and try to break it down day by day and see if things are going to change. But that GFS signal is definitely at odds with the Climate Prediction Center. But anyway, yeah, reporting from Honol uh, Hilo, Hawaii, not Honolulu. We're not going there this round. Uh, Mountain View, just uh, kind of south of Hilo there on the big island. Nice sunny day. Uh, not much weather going on out here. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, we'll do this again tomorrow. We'll break down these storm systems again, and I will talk to you guys then.